Hey! Here I will show you how to create a ragdoll from your character and how to control it. The ragdoll plugin will help us. Go to Expression, Ragdoll Plugin, create a plugin instance in the scene. In the Retarget menu we need to point to the plugin the bones of our character. Select Pelvis and the head of the character and press the Fill button. Make sure that the correct bones are in the corresponding link boxes. Repeat the same for the arms and legs of the character. Here, for the subsequent creation of a ragdoll with the correct parameters, we need to tell the plugin the correct bones of our character. Press the ragdoll button. That's it. We have created a ragdoll character. Ragdoll elements have appeared in our object manager. Connectors, box colliders, rigid body tags for each bone. Let's see in more detail what our ragdoll consists of. Each of the bones assigned by us in the retarget menu now has its own rigid body tag, which makes it a dynamic object in Cinema 4D. Also, under each bone, as its child object, the plugin created a box collider, which gave our bone its physical dimensions in space. Finally, all bones are now connected with dynamic connectors, which now act as joints. The plugin calculated the parameters of the 3D model and its rig and created colliders of the correct size. Also, the Ragdoll plugin created connectors with the correct anatomical angles and restrictions. Let's create a scene object, the floor, to better see how our Ragdoll behaves. I can assign a collider tag to it to let Cinema 4D know it's a static object. Press play. Our little man fell to the floor. Right now it doesn't follow its animation. The control group is responsible for this. The follow position and follow rotation sliders control the corresponding sliders in the dynamic body tags created for our bones. To explain how this function works in the dynamic body tag, let's look at the diagram. The topmost cube has an initial animation, rotation, and position. Every bone in a character animation has exactly the same. The following three cubes have the same animation and also dynamic body tag with different settings. In the force tab, Follow position and follow rotation are responsible for inheriting the original animation. With them, we can force an object to inherit only the position animation, only the rotation animation, or both. Understanding this principle, let's move on to modifying our character animation. I will create a tracking camera to better follow our running man. To control the ragdoll in the ragdoll plugin, we have two pairs of sliders. The top pair is responsible for controlling all the bones of a character. The bottom pair controls only selected bones. To demonstrate how it works, I'll create some fun character behavior. I select all the bones from the lower leg down to the feet and press the button, add selected. Now control over them will be done using the second group of sliders. I'll set the follow position and follow rotation to 100% for our legs and set to 0% for all the other bones in the body. Press play. We have changed the animation of our character beyond recognition. Now it has a completely different behavior and we have achieved this in two clicks. Now let's try to get more specific. For example, I want to turn a character's running into a crawl. It's very simple. Basically for this I need to make the character drop his center of gravity. Let's just remove the force of the character's bones tending to follow their position in space, but leave the bones tending to repeat their rotation animation from the run animation. I will indicate the follow position to some low value. 1 or 2% is enough here. Now the character's center of gravity no longer holds itself at a height above the surface that was recorded in the motion capture. We will also reduce the inheritance of rotation. Voila! Now our character is running on his knees. Completely different animation. 
and we have achieved from a very simple running animation. Now let's make it even more interesting. Will the character crawl on the displaced surface? Yes. Let's displace our plane. And do not forget to correct the settings of the collider body tag. Go in the collider A tab and change the shape setting to a static mesh. Now our character takes into account the terrain. Wonderful. And most amazing, to achieve this takes only a few minutes. Perfect. But the perfectionist in us says that the wrists and fingers in the motion capture are too rigid. I want the fingers to react to the scene. The powerful advanced tab will help us. This tab can turn any joint chain into a dynamic ragdoll. This works incredibly simple. Go to the Advanced tab, select all the fingers and click Equip Selected. The Ragdoll plugin has equipped our character's fingers. Here we see the problem, the last phalanges are passed. This is because the character rig was supplied with null objects instead of joint objects on the tips. Select these null objects and convert them to bones. Null objects can be deleted now. Now the plugin will create the finger ragdoll correctly. And now attach the created hierarchies to the character's wrist bone. With the finger bone selected, select the hand bone as the last bone and click connect that. Let's remove position following for the created fingers so as not to get the character dragging behind his palm and press play animation. Perfect. Huge time saver. Experiment to achieve the best results. You will see more in the next tutorials.